You tweeted. I'm done. We're live. We're back. We're back. And we're ready to go explore some small islands. Uh, while we play this game, just imagine the Moana soundtrack in your head because when we played it last night, we listened to the Moana soundtrack. It's perfect for that. <laughs> um, away, away! <laughs> You're welcome. That's true. See what I did there? I did, yeah. 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 Um, we're back! We're playing Small Ends designed by Alexis, Alexis Allard, and we have Loud Dog Chewing under your table now. No, 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 no. Um, so Small Alliance is a tile placement game for one to four players. It's about 30 minutes. And yeah, I don't know if it has a US publisher yet, but this was an SN release that we got. Um, and we enjoyed it. We played it last night and we liked it. We decided it would feature in tonight's stream. So, there you go. Um, it's got UV coating on the some of the cover bits on the front. So let's... Just playing with that, so you can see there's some UV funness. Um, okay, so this is a really straightforward game. Um, tell it has a has an interesting scoring thing that happens, but um, we need some netters bolts for those. Um, and then there's a bunch of tiles, and you're gonna shuffle those which you can. There's a lot of them. Uh, you might not use them all in a game, so shuffling is good just because reasons. Um, oh, don't sort them. Just just netter spools them. So we're gonna put draw piles kind of up some piece. Ah! And then there are Four tiles that are starting tiles, and they're they have seagulls on them, so you know they're starting tiles because they have seagulls and they're double sided. So, um, there's four of them. You're gonna pull out the four seagull tiles, um, and then there are four ship tiles. And on the one side is the player color ships, and then the other side is the non-player color ships. You're gonna put, um, you always play with all four ships. But you're going to put the player colors that are playing face up, and then you're going to put the other people that aren't playing, the other player colors aren't playing, you're going to put them um, the dark, the black ships, the pirate ships side up. Uh, then every player is going to get their little player bag, they got little houses and tokens Ooh. marked with their player colors. And you're going to put four of each player's house just kind of like over in a general supply where um, they can't immediately access them. As far away from Steve as possible. Yeah, it's the Cheat and Steve one. Then there's a tile that is like a compass rose thing. Um, that's a important tile for reasons. Then there's a couple cards, but you... Let's start with these first. Then there's these like discovery tiles. They have a compass rose on the back. You're gonna shuffle these and then put them all face down someplace, um, like a draw pile, um, or you can just do like a random, I won't make a draw pile tonight, we'll just do like a random selection of them. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Hayami says the Moana soundtrack is on Prime, so they don't have to imagine. That's what we want. Um, Steve has a talent! Um, then there's a couple of different stacks of cards, but there's 12 objective cards that are like full size cards, and you're gonna shuffle those and give each player one. Um, and the other ones you're gonna put like as a deck someplace. And then there's like another deck of cards that has mini cards. These are missions and other objectives. So there's a bunch of different like variants in this game where you can add layers to it. And then there's actually hidden content, which I shouldn't tell you about, under the insert that we found when I was like breaking down this game for us in nesting. So <laughs> there's that. They mention it in the rule book, but yeah. Um, okay, cool. So. Each player should have four little tiles that are double-sided that have different icons on them. 
Um, they should have four little houses and then four more houses up there. And then um, whoever goes first is actually going to rearrange this. So whoever was last on an island gets to be the starting player and arrange the board. And they say that no man is an island, so I think that means that I get to go first. Okay. You earned it. <laughs> I'll never forgive you, but you earned it. So when you do tile placement, um, it has to be, like, you have to do full sides to full nope. full sides, but it has yep. to match up and make sense. Um, and for the starting tile, these are all double-sided, so you can, like, mm. just go crazy with it. Um, do you get to look at your objective before you do that? No, you do not. That is probably good you did, because I already looked at it. Um, so, and you can do whatever shape you want as the starting player. Mm. So I could do that. T for tart. T for tar. I could not do that because it's illegal, but I could do that. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Whoa. that. There we go. Then you're going to put three tiles face up, which are like the draw pile, and then you're gonna take six tiles and you're gonna put them on the little compass navigator thingy, um, and that is. Oh, and then each player gets two tiles, and that's your starting hand. So you're always going to have three tiles. Um, you're not always going to have three tiles. You're going to, at the start of your turn, you'll pick a tile. So you have three tiles in your hand, and then you play a tile. So you always end your turn with two tiles in your hand, but you always will have three tiles to pick from when you place. When do we do objective one? I'm going to teach the game first, okay. and then we do the objective one. So that's set up. So in this game, we're playing tiles to a central area slash board. So we're all exploring like the same ocean thing, and we represent different clans that are going out and exploring. And on your turn, you must select a face-up tile and place it. Like, you have to. There's no other option. You cannot blind draw. Uh, when you place a tile, or sorry, you take the tile and you put it in your hand, and then you select one of the tiles from your hand to place. Um, somewhere on the board, and when you place the tile, it has to be a legal placement. So it has to be, you can't offset, and it needs to make sense artwork-wise, but otherwise you can place anywhere as long as it has one full side touching at least one other full side. Um, after you place the tile, you may place one of your four tokens anywhere on the build board. So you don't have to place it on the tile you place. And the reason you would place these tiles is you get, they have little pictures of icons which are on the main tiles so that's a lotus flower but on each of these tiles there's a couple different icons there's like resources that are produced there's anchors that represent ports and then there's little dotted line areas where you're going to put your houses oh and there's temples right there so on your turn after you place the tile you can place one of these tiles on whichever side you like on a legal place if you want to place a resource side, so either a lotus flower, a dragon fruit, or a acra leaf, I think is how you say it, you can place that, but you must cover up another resource um, that is a different type. So oh, if I want to make if I want to make more lotus flowers on this island, I can place this on this dragon fruit to make this island have now a lotus flower and one less dragon fruit. Or over here. I could place it to cover up this acre leaf, so now this island only has lotus flowers. Okay, um, so that's what you do with the tiles. If you want to place the tile port side, so there's a little anchor, you're adding a port to a coast. You can add a port to any coast as long as that tile does not already have two ports on it, on any coast. So every tile can have maximum two ports on it. So I could add a second port onto this coast, or I could add a port onto this coast. It doesn't really matter what island has the port. It's more what tile has the port. Oh, so this port, does that count for both, both those islands? islands? Well, but ports don't matter for islands. Oh, right. Right, right, right. Uh, they do for some of the objectives. So I guess, well, you can't, so I, I guess you could. Um, put that there. It's a rough port for both, but I think it would oh, count for I, both. Okay, you don't, I assume you'd have to place it on, on an island. No, you don't put it on an island. You put it on a coast. Maybe you put it on a coast touching an island. Well, yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Okay, so you put it on a coast touching an island. Um, so that's these tiles. 
Okay. Um, and that's your turn. That's your whole turn. And we keep doing that. Uh, when we refill from here at the end of a player's turn, we refill from this stack. So as the game progresses, this stack will get smaller until this tile is revealed. Once this tile is revealed, instead of taking an island tile and placing an island tile, you may take a ship tile and place a ship tile. And you can take any ship tile you want and place it, or that's a lie. You can take your color ship tile, or you can take one of the non-player ship tiles and place them. When you place a ship tile, it needs to go so that it's only touching uh, water spots, right? And that will end the round. And the game's going to go for maximum four rounds. The game will either go until we've placed all the tiles, which is insane, or we've placed all the ship tiles. So at the round in, um, once the ship tile has been placed, nobody gets to place anything else, um, we are going to score objective cards. So every player is going to have an objective that they're going for this round, and we're going to get to pick those. Um, but each player, starting with the player who played the ship, is just going to score their objective cards. So the objective cards have two sections. They have this section that says what you want on an island, and then they have this section, which is what you score for each island that meets the condition of this. So when you have an island that meets this condition, you get to take one of your houses and put it on that island that met that condition. None of our islands meet this condition. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. So this island needs one temple. For my objective, I need one temple and two lotus flowers. And this island has one temple and three lotus flowers, so it meets it. So, and there's a little house spot available, so I can take one of my houses and put it on this island. Woohoo! And so now that I've done that, I will score one point for every temple and one point for every lotus flower. So even though there's more lotus flowers than I needed, I still get points for them. So I would score four points for this island. So I would collect four points worth of, like, fancy jewelry, and I hold on to it, right? So I get those points. However, you can only put your house on an island that has a spot for it, and you don't already have a house on. So you can only score each island once maximum for the entire game. Which means you really have to kind of plan future objectives and what you're setting up for, which you can do because you're actually going to have two objectives, one for the round that you have, and then one that you might use in a future round. So you can do some planning. I really like that. Yeah, I really like that mechanic as well. So, that's where this game gets, like, spicy, is because you can only have one house on an island, one of your houses on each island, you, you really have to plan and you really have to explore and place more tiles to get more islands out there. Um, multiple players can have houses on an island, but again, each player can only have a house on an island once. You can place up to four islands, uh, four houses on islands in a turn. So if this island also met the condition, I could also place a house there and I would score this island as well this round for this card. So you can score up to four islands in a single round, but you might not want to do that because you wouldn't be able to use those islands again for future cards. So there's that. Um, at the end of the scoring phase, you're going to redraw, you're going to take houses from the supply to get back up to four houses. Once you've placed all eight of your houses, you cannot place any more. And that is the game. Basically, the objective cards are really easy. Then, anyone who, or everyone discards their objective card, um, and then we start the next phase for the round, which we're actually going to do at the beginning of every round, including this first one. Let me reset this. Is, we're going to take that's not where that was supposed to go okay we're gonna take all the objective cards that have been discarded we're gonna shuffle them and then we're gonna deal two objective cards to each player and each player will already have one objective card that they've held over from a previous round or that they were dealt at the start of the game so i already had one objective card so we each get two new objective cards we look you have Oh. Yes. So now we have three total objective cards, one we had previously, plus two new ones. We look at the objective cards, we pick two we want to keep, and we discard the other one, and then one of the ones we keep, we say this is for this round, and then the other card we say this is for next round. Oh, good night, mediocre gamer! Good night.
Um, so Steve's ready. I know. Surely have the Moana soundtrack in my head. Um, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna take that one. So I just got that. So um, I would say like, okay, cool. This one's for this round. This one's for a future round. I put it over to the side. And then you just start playing again. And then you keep doing rounds until either all the tiles have been placed or all the boats have been placed. And then in-game scoring is you get points from your tiles and then you get points from these tiles, which you can get by scoring objectives. And then for your boats at the end of the game, you get one point for every port that is adjacent to where your boat is located. Um, all eight tiles around your boat. Mm -hmm. So boat placement is important. And one thing I also learned the hard way last game is that if you have two, if you have two tiles like this with water facing each other, the only thing that can go there is a boat because there's no all the tiles have land on one or more corners. Two sides. Yeah. Yeah. At least two sides. At least two sides. All right, and then I start. I was like ready for you to start. I was like, come on, Steve. Take turn, dude. Uh, I'm gonna take this tile. What? And then I'm gonna place this tile here, and then this refill. And that was my turn. First. Place, 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 place your tiles. Replace. Yeah. Look at that. I just played like right into your side. hand. You did. You did. Right. Right into those hands. I would say something that was inappropriate for the internet. Um, it's so difficult because I'm like playing for multiple, like, objectives. Oh god, can I ever finish that? The answer is yes. So now we can vote. Now we can vote. Hey, I'm not done yet. Stop being so excited about stop. tile placement. Tile placement game. Tile placement game. Oh, there's that guy in Avatar. Um, that whenever he sees the Avatar, he like foams at the mouth and like freaks out and then collapses. That's how Steve is with tile placement games. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> it's so pretty. We playing, we playing, we playing, we playing. Playing, small islands, small islands, small islands. Just gotta make sure the logo is in the picture. Did you draw that? I didn't draw that. I have that one there. Why? I mean, I know why. But I'm still angry at you. <gasps> the Kraken! I take the Kraken! I take the Kraken! Hey, Tiffany! Kraken. Hey, Tiffany! What? Hey, Tiffany! What? Hey, Tiffany! What? What's Kraken? Um, okay. I'm gonna place the Kraken. Right. Hi, Johns! Yeah. Good evening to you, too. <laughs> hey, John Edwards. 
I just call you John Edwards because otherwise I think it's John as in John Dooley or John. Or John. Or John. I really hope he's not in the middle of the street. We play games and with, with him we like to meet. We play games and we tweet. Ah, yeah. John. Uh, yeah, we're giving up the internet. Somebody was talking about that in the first stream of the night. We're giving up the internet for December! So I will not be checking Twitter. I'll be tweeting for via like scheduled tweets and stuff, but I won't have like a Twitter feed. Gasp! Um, oh, you ended it with a pirate ship! Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope you like I hope you're happy. Alright, score your objective. I need an island with a temple and two leaves. Why did you keep that? Oh, okay. And I get a point for each. Yep. Okay. Score your points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points. You gotta put your ship, your, your house on it. It's my house. I'm gonna go on this little, like, tiny, tiny island that I have. Lemony eleven points. Lemony eleven? Lemony eleven points. Um, okay. I need an island that has one temple and two lotus flowers. I took the example of Kyle. Yay! Mm -hmm. Um, John Edwards just received, uh, Serbia. Yeah, we, I read mixed reviews well, which is why we decided not to get it. Um, the two-player, I watched Ant Labs, like, thing about it, and I was like, eh, probably not for us. Anyway, um, putting this here. I see it's going to be on the very end of the island, and I get this Habitat. island, too. Mm -hmm. I get two islands! So I'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. Please. Well done. Uh, and then we both refill our houses. Um, don't forget, like I just forgot, that you can always use your tokens to help sway stuff. And then you discard the objective that you just scored, and then we take all the objectives. And we mix them up. Well, not all of them. But we take the ones we just discarded and we mix them up with the, the remaining deck of ones. And we deal two cards to each player and we add those two cards to our thing. And whoever placed the boat doesn't go first. The next player goes. So I will get to go first this round. I'm still holding out for that one. Ooh, yes. That one. That one's good. Okay. Um. So, what do I want to go for this round? Can I go for this do one? Do you start because I voted? Yes. I start because you voted. Boats, boats, boats. Boats, boats, boats. You know, I immediately regret taking this objective. Oh, and then we have to put six new tiles... On this dresser. And then we start sailing the seven seas. Um, uh, you can only score an island if it has at least two tiles, if I remember correctly. That's a thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Colonel Clink style. I'm going to please. I I missed it. I said. Mm -hmm. I missed. I missed I it. Yeah, yeah. I I'm seen, gonna. I see nothing. Uh huh. I'm gonna place that there, and. I don't have a certain thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll put that. That's not what I want. Dragon fruit side. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I should have taken a tile. Mm -hmm. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Slow down. Deep breaths. Be calm. John Edwards is the. It is your he was hoping for underwater cities. I don't understand. 
understand. I mean, we, I really like Tricky Aaron. Like, really like it. Um, but yeah, sure. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna place this. Oh, I can't score that one again. I mean, I'm not trying to score islands. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to score. Yeah. I'm gonna take that one. Place that one there. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! That is an amazing tile. It's tricky that place, we though. can't place right now, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. It is an amazing tile, though. Ugh, I'm gonna take it and not place it because I can't. Mm. I can't place that there. Nothing, I'm just, you know, annoyed. It's fine. When have you ever been annoyed with me while playing a tile placement game? Never. Uh, uh, oh, I don't know if you said, John, this is the third game of the night. Yeah, this is the third game. <sighs> How can you tell? Um... I end it. So. I thought you meant. Yeah, well, you set it up too sweet for me. So, um, if an island has two temples, I can put a house on it. Oh, I messed up. I and messed up. then for each temple, I can draw a discovery tile, and then uh, I get to keep one of the discovery tiles. And I could put one here, uh, but I'm not going to. It's not for each temple. Yes. Not. For each tuple on the island. Yeah. Oh, but you could just pick one. Yeah. yeah. And then you just, you discard one. <laughs> I'll discard this one. Um, so yeah, and the discovery tiles are just points in the other game. What objective do you have? I had the one that you had from last time. Oh, well there you go. So I'm going to place one house here. Oh, well you and lucky die. Here. Well, you could do that one too. Oh, I can! Mm hmm. I can. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I missed that. There's also this one. Actually, no, there's only one Lotus Flower, never mind. And I already placed that. Okay, how many points do you get, Steve? Uh, you know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I really set that up for you. Yeah, Alright, thank you. So we take those and we shuffle them. We call it the shuffle, the shuffle, shuffle. Mm -hmm. It's a dance. Um. So, put six more tiles out, or six more tiles on that. Then we each get two more cards. <gasps> oh. Hmm. What does that symbol mean? I have the same question. Uh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, snaps! That's what? pretty good. What, 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 what? You what? don't, you'll find what? out. You'll find out. You'll find out. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Um, I mean, I'm gonna do that. Let me see what I can do this round. Uh, but Steve starts. Oh, and then we replace our houses, so we each have four. Did I get... Oh, no, I don't get points. points. I just got a discovery yeah, job. That's that. right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you hey, Mom the boat, so I start? Yeah, you start. You start, my child. Where do I start? I don't know, it's a queue. You start playing tiles. Like, what objective did I pick up? This one. I'm gonna place the beautiful one. We need some new islands out there. I'm just saying. We have too many. We need more islands. This game is called Small Islands, not not one super huge island that we keep building onto. It's important. Silence of the gamers. Probably. Oh, I don't want to do that. Don't want to do that for you. I'm disappointed. You should be. I'm not going to do that for you, Kairos! Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I'm Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, ooh, hey, that fits perfectly. Well, it doesn't. I mean, it does. Look at that. It's amazing. Totally taking that just because it fits so well. Mm-hmm. 
Good See you, Angela. Thanks for hanging out. Dom quartz. Dom quartz. I could put a pirate down and end it now. Oh, why did I think that that part would help me? I just... I really like how the objectives are asymmetrical and that you get to both draft and plan for them. I do as well. I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, I think you would. Scraping that plate off. Clack. I wonder if I can place your ship. That would be so mean. I don't that would be very mean. I don't think you should be able to. Yeah, but if you don't end the round, I have to. Oh. That's true. Yep. So if I end the game now, it means that if I end the round, it means that you I can just play the rest of the tiles. You can for the game, and I can't end it, which kind of sucks. So, Your turn, Ben. Huh. Your turn. What? I read it. Yeah, I also read it. Well, I mean, it's just like I played my ship early. It's kind yeah. of the detriment of doing that. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 This is a, the, the, um, the water goes through, but the land connects up top. The art is so cute! There's so many great little details. Yeah, that's one of the, probably, I mean, I do like the game, but I love how the art actually does look like islands and they're very well rendered. Yeah, it's it's a you feel like you're exploring an archipelago. It's nice. Um Alright, end it or I will put a pirate there <laughs> next round. Got a vindictive wife. Just remind you. Can't let it continue. I ended up for no benefit of my own, except for to stop. Oh, you. I can't place my ship there because the land. I was no, like, oh, you can't. You screwed yourself. <sighs> yep. So what you get? All right. Uh, I get. I can. If an island has a temple and two ports, I can score it, and I'm gonna score this one, and I get two points for the resource that it has the least of mm. per. So there's only there's the same number of dragon fruit and things. So I get two points per. Um, 
So I get four points plus two, so I get six points for that, which, yeah, it's fine. So I get six points for that island, and then, do I want to do that on another island? I don't think I can. I can do this bad boy, but I don't want to. Harvesting it for reasons. Um, You're not going to like this. I could do it on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's... And then there's one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I would get... For that one, if I did an island there, I would get eight points. Oh, that's worth it. Um, yeah. To get eight points. I'll actually just get a ten and put two ones back. I'm sorry. What? What do you do? I need three ports on an island, and I get one point per port plus two. Okay. Per island. Okay. So? Oh, you're just going to do it on all the islands? Yep. Oh, wow. So one, two, three, four, it's five. It's Akrotiri Light. The, it is really the plus is. two for every island? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yep. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Wow. Oh, Jaime says it makes him think of Carcassonne Celsius. We've never played Carcassonne Celsius. Carcassonne oh, South. we played um, Bora Bora and the other fell that was making the fucking up. Okay, these aren't related. But, alright. What was done with all the animals? Was that Bora Bora? The animals you're collecting? On the islands in the South Pacific, it was a felt. Um, but it's like four player Aquaturi Light. But also cutthroat. One thing I noticed last uh, round is I almost put a tile like this here, but I didn't have a house there, and I realized that Tiffany could have connected it to then deny me the island Carcassonne style. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. with farm scoring. Oh, hi, you just gonna draw? You just, you're ready to go? You excited? I got my one house left. I still have three houses. I've been, okay, so it's the last round, so really you just want to hold on to one card. There's no reason to have two. Um, so the game will end when either Steve places his ship or we run out of tiles. Three to, minute to game. To replace the market, <laughs> yeah. So anyway... Uh, you start. Uh, I'll face one of these. Yeah. Oh, and I have to draw a tile. Hey, look, port tiles. Must keep them from Steve. They are important. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can place one here. Mm -hmm. It's still a good amount of points. Because I was foolish and placed this here thinking it would help me for the second. I saw it. I didn't register it. It's something to do with temples. <laughs> That's all I know. Something to do with what? Mm -hmm. what? 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 Oh, is that yeah. legal? Yeah. 
I mean, I assume it's fine. Here, I'll just help you out here. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. I am kind. Don't you forget it. Um, take that one. Alright, you can push your boat now and end it. <laughs> the island continues. Like, forced to take four tiles. I mean, I can't, unless I place my boat somewhere else. Do you really care about my boat, though? Only for you. This is just a boat. Are you trying to get me to my other island? So you take care of us now. I made a new island. Ah, so the game ends when if there are no landscape tiles available face up and you cannot place a ship, then the players will Oh, did I just place this one? Don't know. Yes. You don't know, Kairos. Did you? This is a game that looks very visually appealing once the board starts falling out. Yeah. Like, the contrast between the land and the water looks real nice. Sea turtle. I do this down here. Are you just going all the way on this? Change Yep. Yeah. So there's a game called the Ilos or Ilos that uh, came out at last us and it's out in France and it's um. It's an island exploration tile placement game, and it you do houses kind of similar. So this is like, but it does like this weird economy thing that we really like, and a lot of players, um, it plays really well five. We haven't streamed it because it just, it plays and shines at more player count. Um, but when I first saw this game, I was like, oh, it's like Ilos mixed with Akrotiri. What happens if you have the last turn and there's no tiles left? I end it. So you'd have to end it with my ship. No, if I can't place your ship, it just ends and your ship doesn't get placed. <gasps> mm -hmm. Are we playing until all the tiles are gone or until all the tiles are gone from there? Until I can't place. If I no, can't no, no, make a legal right. move, yeah. the game oh, ends. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's just gonna make it worse. Okay, great. Um, and it's when I can't draw a tile, I think. Yeah, if there's no more tile space up for me to draw, so it doesn't matter what I have in my hand. I can't place. All right, so I should probably end it. Yeah, if you don't place your ship, you don't get to. Well, actually, no, you can't. You must place your ship. That's all you can do. Okay, so that's the round. So reveal your objective and score it. It was an island with one of everything, and then I get two points for something. Nice. So you did that island, yeah. I assume. 
Not the most point of war. I uh, have left, so. so I go here and I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I've had this objective since the beginning. I've been holding it on. So for every island where there's an equal amount of two resources, I score points for the size of the tile. Uh, so I've been f- working uh, on this the entire game. So I, I have, figured. I have three islands that are perfectly matched. So this one has the same amount of dragon fruit and acker leaves. And it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 tiles. Nice. So I get 10 points because it's 12 tiles big. Boom. 10 points. And then this one has the same amount of dragon fruit and lotus flowers. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which means I get 6 points. Not as good. But again, one more tile on it. And then this one has the same number of lotus flowers and acre and really? acre leaves. Uh, yeah, wow. I've been working hard on that. Um, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did it. Um So and then it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve! <gasps> Another ten points! Wow! I don't know if it was worth it, but I did it! <laughs> Whole game, I, I was working on I that. I do like the objectives in this game because they're oh, secret and they're like very. And different. you can like hold one over, so like yeah. it's like that. Do I give up on this yeah. trade? Um, okay, cool. So then we also get points for the number of ports around our boats. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points for me. Thank you. And then Steve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah. And then you just tally up your points, which... Point chits, point chits. Everybody likes to get point chits. You might have let that last round go on a little long. Yeah, you did. I was just maintaining, but it helped me grow the size of the island. So it's yeah. like, okay. As long as, you got, you, as, you got long a lot as it of works. Points. And that's the thing I like, is once you start knowing the objectives, you'll start thinking, like, what objective do they have? Almost like going for? Almost like Dinosaur Tea Party, but with tile placement. Yeah. Um, what'd you get? 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 I think you got it, maybe. 62? What did you get? 60. Uh, wasn't our last game really close? Our last game was 47-43. Yeah, so... Small island! I liked it more than I thought. Yeah, I did too. Um, it's one of those things where, like, I do the research on the games and I look into them and I'm kind of like, ah, ah. we'll see. And then I come home with, like, so many games and I'm just like, and I have one bad experience with one of them. And I'm like, oh, I wasted all this money and all these games are going to be awful. And then, and then we, like, are like, oh, fine, we have to get through this stack. We have to play something. Let's just play this one. And then we play it. And we're like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and these so. are the games that I really like finding. The games that, like, we're not necessarily hyped about, because other people aren't. Like, we have, nobody, nobody Nobody's hyped about, about it, nobody's game. talking about yeah. it. So it's a total, like, expectations are low, and it's a total pleasant surprise. Like, maybe, like, you've read the rules in the It blur, was on my anticipation list, I think. I think it was. I think I remember you saying small um, items. And when yeah. you told me the concept, I was like, that sounds really neat. Like, tile laying and boats, sign me up. Um... But I'm pretty happy with that. I really like the experience two player. I like their solo, and I like that there's like more complicated mission and objective cards because like these alone are really interesting and good. So yeah. the fact that there's more makes me excited. Um, it does not have a U.S. publisher yet. Um, so there's that. If you are interested in this game and you like this game, like talk about it. Ask people about it. Tweet about it, etc. Tell your friendly local game. Publisher. Tell your friendly local game publisher if there's a publisher you like who you think that this would work with. Mention it. Um, so yeah, but like it's very well produced. Um, the company uh, Mushroom Games. They have a few titles, um, but the just it looks really nice. There's a nice insert in the box. The tar- card quality and whatnot is really nice. Oh, right. This is how I know this game is from Taiwan. So Taiwan... Taiwan has a weird thing when it comes to 
um, plastic wrapping things, like shrink wrapping stuff and keeping things pristine in plastic. So one of the things that they do is they keep the shrink wrap on games. So when you buy a new game, they take a razor blade and they cut the shrink wrap so that they can mm. open the box, but then they carefully open the box and they leave the shrink wrap on the box and they tape it. So they tape it onto the lid and they tape it on the bottom of the box so that when it's closed... If it's on a shelf or something, you don't know that it's it's been opened. It looks new, but they do that so the outsides of the box are protected. And then they shrink wrap everything in the game. Not shrink wrap, but they sleeve it. And so when I bought this game from the publisher, he gave me the special tile sleeves that they made. So these are sleeves... For the cardboard game, like cardboard tiles, and I put one on. I didn't. They like seal on, so there's like a tape strip and everything. And I like put one in. I didn't tape it on just to see. And it's like super snug and pristine. And I was really tempted to just sleeve them all, but I was like, the glare for a stream yeah. would be awful, and for pictures. But um, I have a friend who who I was working with at Deepwater who lives in Taiwan, and she was she was showing me because she ordered a bunch of games while she was in the U.S. and she was prepping them. She was like opening them and punching them, but she was also like taping down the shrink wrap on the outside, and, was, and she was explaining it to me like if she ever tried to sell that game in Taiwan and she had gotten rid of the shrink wrap, like no one would buy it because it's like a thing there, and I was like that's crazy. Um, that so, is yeah. funny because things like are different. Like random cultural fun facts. Well, uh, I think what's great is had you not met her and known that, you'd just be like, "Why is there sleeves in here?" Like you wouldn't know sort of the. I wouldn't the know the full extent. It. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, so that's small islands. Um, but you can see the end is really nice. There's this like explorers, uh, whatever hard mode that you find. It's in the bottom of the box. It's supposed to be hidden, but because of Essen, I found it. Um, but then there's, like, objective cards where you're going for different things, and then there's a solo mode. Um, this is well-produced, and it's, there's, yeah. like, a lot. The English not rules are not horrible. There's some, like, minor grammar things. But the rules themselves make a lot of sense, and they're easy to grok. Um, the video, there's a video that they made that, like, teaches you how to play. The video confused the snot out of me. The video is not very well is, scripted yeah. in regards to that. Oh, he's trying to show. So the top, this one right here, the art on the side has like, it's a it's dock. It's a dock. Yeah. That's great. Hello, top shelf. <laughs> uh, I think this definitely will go on shelf three at the yeah. least. Yeah. Hang, hang um, shelf maybe shelf four in with like Sagrada and those. Um, I don't. I don't Probably know. Probably a three. Um, but yeah. That, ooh, that one no. is the card one, I think. That one's my player bag one, I think. Oh no, this is the tiles. This is the card. Okay. Um, sorry. But no, there's there's definitely things I like about it. I think what I like is um. The tile sleeves. The tile sleeves make it. <laughs> It's, I mean, it, it's another game where the, the rules rules themselves are pretty straightforward, which is when you place a tile, that has to follow the rules. Um, but all the intricacies are in, like, your planning or your strategy, so I feel like this is a game that we could play reasonably brain dead and then get into it, like, as we play it. Like, your brain gets sort of activated by the objective cards. Yeah, um, and, like, counting yeah. and, and doing stuff and, yeah. And um, I really like the having to try to figure out what objective your opponent has, and I think that's probably going to add almost the most replay for me. I really like the fact that you you can only put one house on one of your houses on each island, so it mm -hmm. forces you to continue exploring in the game. Yep. Uh, and it forces you to um, it forces you to not just focus your entire, like, that entire round on just, like, the islands you're going to score right then and there. Like, you have to focus on the islands that you might be trying to score next round. Because if you yeah. focus entirely on what you're doing this round, you're just screwed for next round. So, Yep, and then yeah. you're sort of ceding too much control of the exploring over to your opponent. Like, on that last island, we were each placing a tile on it every turn. Um so I couldn't, like, get ahead and place two tiles in a row on it because Tiffany wanted it to. Yeah. And she knew I wanted it. I don't know. It's The more I play it, the more I like it. 
Yeah, that was our second play. I still like it. Um, I'm really interested in playing the mission cards. And honestly, I think this killed Ilos for me. Because Ilos was like a fun tile placement card with some economy stuff. But like teaching it was kind of annoying. And there, there's no U.S. publisher. And there's a certain time where like I give up hope on finding a U.S. publisher. Yeah. So I think Ilos will either go to Family Game Day or be sold. I think this replaces it. For well, me. Ilos, I think, because your actions were card dependent, you were getting cards into your hand, and then you were buying your other actions with other cards. Sometimes you just get stuck in terms of cards. Uh, the game had a point where it would shift into making you want to like develop the tiles that were already there, so it kind of made you not keep expanding. And like like Carcassonne in this one, you do want to keep expanding to a certain point. Well, but there's yeah. a lot of timing things yeah. where it's like, oh man, I should play my boat because if I don't play my boat, he'll play his boat and that's a great port spot. Or, ah, oh, but if I play my boat, he'll have more control over the end game because I won't have as much stuff. Yeah. Um, and so that's the other thing with playing with like three or four players where you have more of the player colored boats, you can't place the gray boats. So you can't, once you've placed your boat, like you're, so you're playing this like game of chicken. Like, are mm -hmm. you going to end the round or am I going to end the round? So I'm really interested to try this with more players. Um, I don't think it would frustrate me. It might if I was going for certain objectives, but I think that there would be more islands being created. Yeah. So there's that. I think the downtime would be reasonably low. Uh, one thing I also like is there you can make uh, like holes where no tile can be placed. And I know in something, I think Carcassonne, any combination, there is at least one tile that will work. And in this, there's some... They're playing go around the coffee table. Yeah. Zena's got both Chewies. She's got one in her mouth she's working on, and when Ichi comes near, she, like, picks up the second one and runs. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you're gonna yeah. have to <laughs> take one from okay. her. Alright. Yeah, uh, Azul uh, Stay Glasses Central was our first game. Uh, anyway, I, I really like this one still. Um, it was a nice... Like, diamond in the rough of our, like, unplayed stock. We have a lot of good stuff in the unplayed stock, and that's the thing with our unplayed is when we have so many, it gets really easy for us to just get bogged down by how many we have, and we, like, write stuff off or, like, don't play it or whatnot. And so this year from Essen, uh, I kept the hall smaller. I did a lot more research on games. I had a lot less impulse buys. I think we had one impulse buy that we, were, we bought, like... Just on somebody saying it was good. What did we buy? On somebody saying it was really good. Uh, no, we played that. There was one game that we just bought because was it John? Oh no, it was Adam. Selena. That was the only game we bought because because Adam was like, it's so good, and he bought two copies. Wait, so, what's uh, Selena. The airship game. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the only game we bought. Everything else was like researched. And there was a list, and, like, we had ratings, and we had to go play stuff. Um, so, overall, it was a much better Essen, I think, for both of us and the coming home experience. And then, while in Essen, in our hotel room, I made a spreadsheet of all the games that we were bringing back yeah. home with us. And I, on the spreadsheet, I am tracking information, like, it, was it a review copy? Was it a gift from a friend? Because we do have, um, I do have some... Friends in the industry now who work for different publishers and so they'll just give me games, no obligation. Um, and so I keep track of all of that. And then there's like, did we buy the game? How much did we pay for it? <laughs> did it happen again? Like immediately? What? Oh, she had three? No, there's a seven. Ichi! Um... So the spreadsheet is helping us track um, our unplayed games. So we're keeping the track of like what we have played, um, just us, and we're keeping track. Do you want to compost it? It's compost, not trash. It's biodegradable. Um, it's goopy. I know, but that's compost. Um, so we keep track of if we've played the game. We're also keeping track of if it's a game that we need to stream. We're keeping track of if it's a game that we want to stream. And then we're keeping track of if it's a game we have streamed. And then there's like links to the streams that we've done. So yeah, and then we're also keeping track on the spreadsheet the status of the game. So if we've sold it, if we're on the fence about selling it, if I'm currently trying to sell it, um, what shelf, I've even put like what shelf it's on. 
So, um, or if we're like giving it to somebody and like I'm tracking all of this now. So this is like the most organized I've been about uh, an Essen haul yet, but it's helping, it's really helping us get through it and it makes it feel not like we're against this like tidal wave of product. Uh, so we have a lot of... It's a tidal wave. Uh-huh. And, mm, um, we have a lot of, we, like, the games are in stacks and bags, but, like, between the system of, like, where it's located versus, like, the spreadsheet, I know the status of everything, so it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it feels less overwhelming than it has in the past, mm -hmm. and it means, um, to, you know, you're more planning what we're streaming and what we're playing, rather than it just being, like, whatever, what I'm just gonna, gonna play tonight? like, whatever, I'm just gonna pull the thing that's on top of the stack of the pile of games. Yeah. So um, one thing also in going through, I think I went through part of the SN, part of the SNS. Or you gave me a part of the SNS. I forget. I went through some of it, and then also at the show, I didn't find any find too many games that were like obvious Steve bait or like viable I, Steve bait. I linked you a couple. I think the most Steve baity game was Liftoff, and we played it, mm -hmm. and it persisted as Steve bait. So and we played that, and we liked it. Um, and I bought it. And we'll stream it eventually. One that was a post SN that I know Chat was talking about before, whatever. Like, if it had come out at SN, I think I would have considered getting it, especially after play, was Space Corp, where I found out mm -hmm. after the designer was actually at SN at somebody else's booth giving demos. So, missed the boat on that. Um, but that's one that maybe I will be interested in, like, as a next year game after I get through some other games. But um, that, that would have been a game that I would have been like, yeah. Maybe it won't like a game on my list for Essen, but I didn't have there wasn't a huge amount. We like Liftoff, but um Liftoff's only in German and there's no English uh publisher. So we need to play it again yep. and verify that we're playing right. Um which means that there needs to be English rules put out and there hasn't been. So maybe there is by now, but we like it. We'll we'll stream it eventually. Um but I think that's it for tonight. Oh I wanted to say for me. So this is gonna go on at least shelf three. Um, for us, uh, maybe shelf four. It kind of depends. We're moving stuff around. As more titles get put on shelves, things get bumped off. Like we're treat, we're selling Newton now. So yeah. Uh, Zena, what's the thing that we need to raise? I mean, we do need to raise the roof. It's true. If we raise our roof, the attic is more viable living space. But I just don't want to deal with that. Zena, what's on fire, but we don't need any water? I hope not. Go solve it. Um, okay, anyway. For me, I didn't mention, goes on our kids' game shelf. We have a kids' game shelf. It's over there. Um, basically, it's, like, down below. And we, when we have kids come over, we make sure we pull these games out, and they're, like, noticeable for kids. And then, like, uh, when we're traveling to see our nieces or nephews, we'll look at our kids' game shelf and, like, bring games that we want to play with them. So this is going to go on our kids' game shelf, which means... Um, it's not a game we will probably play just us again, yeah. but it's a game that we're excited to play with kids. Um, so yeah. I might loan it to John to play with his daughter. Um, and it might end up coming to the tap room with us sometime. Oh, yeah. When we're just a little brain dead. It's got, like, bright tiles. I think it might be hard to see the corn in, like, really bad lighting, but yeah, we'll, we'll manage. We'll manage. manage. So... There's that. Um, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified on YouTube when we go live. Sometimes it works. Um, on Twitter or on Twitch, you can follow us uh, to get notifications there. Uh, if you're watching this live, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, Kabuki Kid been hanging out most of the night. Thank you. Um, also, all those loker, lur lurkers, all those lurkers, thank you for hanging out with us. Um, I hope you enjoyed these streams. We had a lot of fun playing these. Uh, our next stream will be on Tuesday, and I don't know what we're playing yet. The patrons, uh, patron supporters need to vote, so I'll have that poll go up here in the next few minutes. Actually, probably, like, in the next hour. Um, so, uh, patrons get to vote on what we stream on Tuesdays. Um, so I put, like, a selection up, and then they vote. I think, um, uh, Captains of the Golf is in there for the running. Oh, this is annoying. Can't even remember right now. Was oh no, it wasn't. I can't even remember. But there's that. Um, Kabuki, you didn't win anything. Sorry. 
Sorry, Kabuki Kid. <laughs> if you send me an email with your shirt size and address, I'll send you the one tar shirt because you are you are an awesome mod and you're like always here and helping and you were great during that stream and I would love to send you a shirt. So if you send me an email at the one tar at gmail.com, I will uh, with your shirt size, I will send you you can if you look for my the one tar Kickstarter. There was a Kickstarter a few years ago. I think I still have all of those shirts. I just don't know which, like, I have limited sizes. So, there's that. Um, Zena! No! She might really have to go pee. Yeah, she She's very does. persistent. Um, but yeah, I'll put the Patreon post up on what games are for options for next Tuesday. I might be streaming another minis painting tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but otherwise, we'll see you all on Tuesday. And we're on gonna let note, Zena out. <laughs> yep. Goodbye. Uh, see oh, the mouse died. This is awkward. Uh, I can't control it. Uh, okay, we got it. Okay. Bye. Bye.